Lucas Dixon is thankful he was miraculously spared from becoming blind after angry members of the radical group Islamic Defenders Front threw acid on his head, face, and other parts of his body. He and Ardian are among the 18 students who were injured while police were evacuating them from the Arastomar Evangelical Theology School. I feel hurt, yes, but uh, now uh, I and my other friends can pray, we will uh, be able uh, to forgive our enemies. In recent years, there have been several attacks against the Bible school because the Muslim residents in the neighborhood complained about the evangelistic activities of the students. The attack took place after a student of Arastamar, Junius Kali, was accused of breaking into a resident's house. But Genius said he was just retrieving his sandals that he threw at a mouse. Several Muslim extremists beat Junius and brought him to the police. But he was later released for lack of evidence. The extremists then used the megaphone of the mosque and called on the people to attack their unwanted neighbors. I tried to get my sandals, but the people shouted thief. And they came and beat me. I feel very sad. Because my schoolmate think this whole problem is because of me. Juniors and other male students are temporarily sheltered at a refugee center. The 600 female students from the Arastamar Bible School are now housed in this camping area. And they are using these tents as their makeshift classrooms. And uh, here... Some of them are even having classes under the trees. Now, despite these poor living conditions, the students here are determined to continue on with their Bible courses. I was so afraid. They threw stones at our dormitory. They wanted to execute us because of the trauma. I am disturbed every time I see people in Muslim clothes, but I don't want to be angry with them. I need to pray for them. The attacks have forced the Erastimar Evangelical Theology School to temporarily shut down its 20-year-old campus. The area is now heavily guarded by members of the Islamic Defenders Front. There was a very tense atmosphere as we drove around the school and found this banner that states that the community demands the campus be closed and dissolved. Sani Manave is the spokesperson of the Arastamar Bible School. The FBI attacks every group that opposes them. Unfortunately, even the government cannot control them. We are moving to a smaller building that the government is giving us. We are undergoing this trial now, but God has a plan, and we believe in God's time He will change everything, and He will help us to stand again. For the students of Arastamar, they are determined to pass this test of faith with flying colors. Lucille Tolusen, CBN News, East Jakarta, Indonesia.